Spartan 5 at 1250 AM. The fan out here at the beautiful and luxurious Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center in Waukesha with my guy, the Golf Yoda, Dick Wallace, <laughs> master instructor. He's chuckling and laughing at me, but it's true. He's so good. If you follow all of my lessons, you know, he's really improved my game. Hey, uh, listen here. So if you come out here to Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center, they got a huge full bar, big screen TV, leather sofas, tables, all these different bays. This is the only place you can play the Kohler courses. Only Indoor Golf Center you can play the Kohler courses is right here at the Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center. They've had sold out leagues uh, all fall and winter long, now going into the spring. This is the place where you want to go. Uh, and do your indoor golfing. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about this. I've hit woods, I've done all that other stuff. Now time for the iron game, Dick Wallace, and it's no different, you say, right? Same swing. It's the same swing, it's just a little, you're a little closer to the ball because the club is shorter. Right. The club won't be going as fast because it's a little shorter. All right, let's you see what happens. You still gotta do the same thing. You gotta swing it and you gotta hold the finish. Yep. Oh. oh. Now, uh, let's assume that that swing you just made was 70 miles an hour. Right. Too fast for you to mentally observe it. Sure. So if you just did it and you're holding the club, I tell you, give me one that's half as fast as the one you just did with a full swing. Gotcha. Half as fast. And you were the guy that was swinging that club, so you just right. cut it by 50%. All right. Holding the finish. Stay there. Now, with the head, look at the target. Okay, let the, let the hands soften up, let the club rest on your shoulder so that you can still sense this weight here. On the back. You want to be able to feel the head of the club and you want to know the question you got to answer when you're here is did I swing the club here or did I push it here? Oh. You got to swing it. Right. So when you're standing here, you're free attention and you got to know that you swung the club here. Now do it again and be aware of the club head. Gotcha. Thirty-five miles an hour now. Stay there. Close. Soften the hands and arms. Soften the shoulders. There you go. Let the air out. And so that you're solid as you can be at the finish of the swing. Okay, so that somebody can't come and push you out of balance. Right. All right, none of yeah. that's okay. Try it again. Do it again. But that's still you say you think that's 35, that to me was about 50. So it's even slower than slower than that. Slower than that. You know. All right. Closer, but still not anywhere close to 35. Still too fast. Yeah. Now, I, I want to just I'll show you one more thing. I want you to take a cl club and hold it, and then hold it out in front of you like this. Okay. Now, soften up your grip and your arms. Okay, let them relax. Now, hold on to the club. And I'm going to hold this in and just lean back. Lean back. Towards lean, me? Yep. You feel this pull? Yeah. This is what's centrifugal force. It's a force that pulls away from a center. Right. This is, you want to get a feeling that you're giving into this pull as the club is being swung. Coming all the way around. It'll take you where you're wanting to go. But give into that pull. Get the sense that it's, it's pulling Pull you away, out away from you. Don't resist it. Don't shortcut it by trying to do something with your hands right. here. Okay? Gotcha. All right. Just make a, make a rehearsal swing that you kind of very slow and, and feel that pull. Just give into that pull. You and I got a completely different <laughs> opinion on what is 15 to 20 miles an hour. <laughs> All right, I gotta go slow. Okay. Yeah. I gotta really go slow in my own brain then. Let, let gravity provide the speed. Right. If you didn't do anything, it'll have a speed. If you just right. let your arms kind of fall. That's still at about 50. Damn, really? Cut that in half. Jeez. <laughs> this is crazy. Slow motion. That's still too fast. Yeah. The follow through is too it. fast, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Getting closer, getting closer, do it again. Soften it up, softer, softer, softer. Everyone gets slower than the one before. It's like your arms are very light. And if you just let your arms, like if you hold your arms out to the sides, like just, just let them fall, they're gonna have a speed. Right. You don't have to do this. Right. Just take them here and just, just give it up, let them fall. Let's try that once and see what All happens. Right. Their own weight will supply a speed. <laughs> I know I'm going too fast. Yeah. You know, over the years, I have this type of discussion with people and they'll say, I can't swing any slower than that. I tell poor choice of words. Don't tell me you can't. Tell me you won't. I think what it is is, because you talk about the mental side of it, uh -huh. I think the reason why I don't go slower because in my mind, I feel like I'm going to lose control if I slow down. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the issue is. Like, yeah. I get into my rhythm, I know I can control that rhythm. Mm -hmm. If I slow down, am I going to lose control and be all weird about it? Well, there's nothing at risk, so try to, let's right. find out. Let's find out. Swing as slow as you can. Now, if you're going to swing slow, your instinct will tell you, this doesn't need to be there. That wide? Can be s you know, the, the, the closer you can keep your feet, the less likely you are to swing really hard. Your instinct would tell you that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, now, 15, 20 miles an hour, let your arms just kind of fall. Let's find out. Closer. Now, always release the head. Always here. Release right. the body. This head down concept we talked yeah. about. Yeah, don't like forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Worst information in the world. <laughs> nice and soft. Okay. Let your body go narrow stance. Because you know, you're not going to swing hard, so your, right. your instinct is telling you to keep your feet closer together. There you go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Now do another one even slower than that one and hold the finish. <laughs> release the body. Release yeah. the head. Let the club. All the way back. There you go. Because it won't stop on its own. Right. You don't stop it. It'll go, it'll go here around. every single time. <clears throat> soft. Think soft. You're getting there. You're getting there. Now, softer. Let's put a ball there. The challenge becomes, can you do what you were just trying to do while you're looking at a ball? Right, because that's the mental side that's of it That's the again. mental side. All right. over again, right? Right. right? As slow as you can swing, feet close together, right? Hold the finish. Probably the best swing you made and probably the best results you've had since we've been doing this. Yep. If your mental observation was good, you would know exactly what you did so you could do Duplicate it again. again. Right. Yeah. So mental awareness, mental observation is critical to learning. Softer is better. Softer right. means feet are closer together. You hold the club a lot lighter. That's just your instinct talking right. to you. So based on what you're trying to do, those things will take care of themselves. So okay. keep your feet close together. Keep the grip relatively light. Swing the club slowly and softly. Better. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. It's huge. You can definitely feel it. It's everything. And I never stand that close. Like, no. I no. just don't. Because you're. I think the only time I've ever stood that close is like if I was pitching close to the green or something. Mm -hmm. That would probably be the only time. That's listening to your instinct too. Because you don't need a solid base. You don't need a wide base for a soft motion. They don't go together, they're not right. compatible. So your instinct will tell you, if you're trying to swing slow and be mental, more mentally observing of what you're doing, this makes sense. You'll see a lot of tour players a lot of times, when they lose their rhythm and stuff, they'll, they'll put their feet close, they'll, they'll touch their feet together and swing the club. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before, for sure. Yeah, definitely. because they're that. looking to recapture, regain that sensation of the, of the motion. Right. And that, that's at the center of this whole thing. It's a swing. And its swing is persistent. There's no suddenness, there's no nothing. It's just right. centrifugal force is where the speed comes from. And that's what I was doing when I was pulling on the club. Right. Just let that take care of it for you. Not what you do with your hands and arms. Yeah. Just leave it alone. 
Get your feet, let's try something. Get your feet even closer together. There you go, let's try that. <laughs> now make a swing and hold the right. finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing, if we had a swing meter, every one of those swings would be at least once again as fast as we would would enhance the learning the slower you would do it the faster you would learn it right i mean it's getting better but it's still not slow enough no, no, right no. and that's that's under your control that that comes under the heading of mental discipline right i mean it's not that you can't swing slower for some reason you're not you won't swing right. slower. it's not happening no. right yeah all right i want another one like this Oh, that one is all screwed up. Okay. Now, if you're not trying to swing fast, there'll be a lot of relaxation up in here. Your arms are just kind of hanging free. There's no tension in it. Now, just swing the club as slow as you can swing it and hold the finish. That's even better yet. I felt like I felt the club come back yeah. more naturally than I had. On its own momentum. Right. Yep. That time I, yep. I felt yep. it more that time. It, it, sometimes a word is just the difference. You don't, you don't make things happen in golf. You let them happen. You let the club go fast. You let the club find the ball. You let the club go to the finish. You don't make that stuff happen. Right. Your job is to just swing it and let the swing impact you in in those ways it'll find its way to the finish it won't stop because unless you stop it but those are the things you let them happen so people they're trying to finish because you don't have to try to finish you just got to let it happen just get out of the way let the club exert its influence on you instead of the other way around <laughs> as dick wallace likes to say i graduated the yoga uh, the yoda class uh, out here at the wisconsin yeah. indoor golf center he's yoda he is dick wallace master golf instructor and you should come out here and check out wisconsin indoor golf center i'm telling you it's amazing full bar Big leather, nice uh, couches, big screen TV. You won't miss any of your favorite basketball games or baseball or football games, wherever the case may be. You know, come out, relax. You got some nice food out here you can enjoy as well while you're here. Uh, and play around of golf, man. Have some fun. Bring your dad out here, your kids, whatever the case may be, your son, right? Mm -hmm. Have a foursome, get the guys together. Uh, and just relax and have some fun. And like I said, they've got the Kohler courses. They're the only ones that have the Kohler courses uh, in the area. Come check them out. Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center in Waukesha. See you next time.